All right, and the snow around Snoqualmie Pass made for slippery travel conditions for drivers. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling is live there now with a look at conditions at this hour. Jennifer. Good afternoon. Well, they're very slushy on the roads, and as you can see, this is the uh, culprit. We've got some heavy wet snow that's been falling all day. It's great for snowballs, but it's definitely making for some slush on the roadways and areas that can get slick. And we talked to uh, one worker who works up here at the summit of Snoqualmie Pass, and she said that she doesn't believe it's the amount of snow that's actually falling up here in the spring storm, but the rate of the snowfall that's making it tricky for drivers. As the snow fell over Snoqualmie Pass, Deanna Reynolds got to work. There was eight inches of snow and it was fairly light and fluffy. Later in the day, conditions changed. I gotta make sure I take smaller, smaller shovelfuls of the wet stuff. It's so much heavier. She says sometimes it's not so much the amount of snow, but the speed at which it's falling. Coming down so fast and blowing around, it's just hard to see. That, that's my biggest complaint, but you know what? <laughs> I just take it slow and I get here in one piece. He's my son, my sister, my friend. <laughs> this group of 10 made up of family and friends stopped to take pictures near the summit and take it all in. It's the first time that I saw snow, then it was amazing for me. Angelica Maza and her family are from a town near Mexico City, and snowfall there is rare. It's like a, I was dreaming or something like that. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm grateful, grateful. For, for that experience. Christian Ruiz from Chicago says while he's used to the snow, he said driving the pass was a new experience. It's much flatter than it is here, so going up and down is some, something new. I think up until now everything's been okay, but right now there's been a little bit more snowfall, so we'll see on our way to Levensworth. He says fortunately they have all-wheel drive. When we rented one of the trucks, they rented one, one of them. It was advised that it was going to be, be snowing, but we didn't expect it to be this much. We got into the slow lane and slowed down. We got Then suddenly a snowplow went past us and we just slipped right in behind that and that made it easier. Jess Leon said she was traveling along with dog Snowball from their home on Whidbey Island to the Grand Canyon when they ran into slick conditions. Whidbey was really actually just a little drizzle and it was fine. We did the 405. It was fine right until just down the road from here and then it got real thick. While they do their best to navigate the roads, yeah. <laughs> she says Snowball is taking it all in stride. Snowball was just born into the snow and living up to his namesake. And he runs around and he becomes a, an actual Snowball. <laughs> good boy. Very good boy. What a cute puppy. All right, now back here in the past, Washdot is reporting that you are advised to use traction tires if you are heading up the pass. Also, oversized vehicles are prohibited at this time due to the weather. So if you're heading up, you'll also want to give yourself plenty of time just in case there are some delays or an accident. Also, pack an emergency kit and have that in your car just in case and give other drivers plenty of space. Reporting at Snoqualmie Pass, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.